In the timeless expanse of the cosmos, the nine realms of Norse mythology existed in a delicate equilibrium, each realm a tapestry of wonders and perils. At the heart of this cosmic symphony stood Asgard, the majestic realm of the Asir gods, ruled by the venerable Odin, the All-Father, whose wisdom was as boundless as the heavens themselves. But amid the splendor of Asgard, whispers of an ancient prophecy began to stir, weaving their way through the fabric of reality like a sinister omen. It spoke of Ragnarok, the cataclysmic event that would mark the end of the world as it was known, plunging the realms into darkness and chaos. As the appointed hour drew near, omens of doom manifested across the cosmos. The earth quaked with a sense of foreboding, and the skies darkened with ominous clouds. In the depths of the world, the chains that bound the mighty giants began to weaken, and monstrous creatures stirred in their slumber. Odin, ever vigilant, sensed the impending threat and called upon his fellow gods to prepare for the coming storm. Thor, the mighty god of thunder, gripped his hammer Mjolnir tightly, ready to defend Asgard with unmatched strength and valor. Loki, the cunning trickster, walked a precarious path, torn between loyalty to his kin and his own desires. But even as the gods prepared for battle, their enemies gathered in the shadows, eager to unleash chaos upon the realms. Fenrir, the monstrous wolf, prowled the edges of the world, his hunger for divine flesh insatiable. Jormungand, the serpent that encircled the earth, stirred in its slumber, ready to unleash its venomous wrath. And Surtur, the fire giant, brandished his flaming sword, eager to engulf the world in flames. The stage was set for the final confrontation, a battle that would shape the very foundations of existence. Asgard trembled beneath the onslaught of the enemy, its once proud spires crumbling beneath the weight of destruction. Odin, atop his mighty steed Slapir, surveyed the chaos with a steely gaze. He knew that the fate of the cosmos hung in the balance, and he would do whatever it took to protect his realm and his people. Thor, his thunderous roars echoing across the battlefield, fought with unmatched ferocity, his hammer striking down giants and monsters with each mighty blow. He was the god of thunder, the protector of Asgard, and he would not falter in the face of adversity. And Loki, ever the trickster, wove his illusions and schemes, sowing chaos among their enemies. He danced between the worlds, his silver tongue and quick wit proving to be invaluable weapons in the battle against darkness. But for all their valor and strength, the gods could not hold back the tide of destruction forever. One by one, they fell in battle, their bodies torn asunder by the relentless onslaught of their foes. 
Yet even in the face of defeat, there was hope. For from the ashes of the old world, a new one would rise, reborn and renewed. And though the gods had fallen, their legacy would live on in the hearts and minds of mortals, who would remember their deeds and honor their sacrifice for eternity. And so, as the final embers of Ragnarok faded into the void, the cosmos stood on the brink of a new beginning, a testament to the eternal struggle between order and chaos, light and darkness, that defined the very fabric of existence. <laughs>